Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I am Scott with the Scott Group, the number one relocation team here at Lake of the Ozarks. And today I want to talk very specifically to you baby boomers or your retirees. We're going to talk about what it looks like to retire and some things to think about here at Lake of the Ozarks. Let's check it out. All right. Hey guys, again, my name is Scott. In today's video, we're going to talk very specifically about retirement options and what that looks like here at the lake. And I'd say probably 25% of the people we talk to are relocating their families, right? So we're, we're packing up, we're moving down, we need to get into school districts, and we are going to live a lake life lifestyle. Another 25% are probably doing vacation properties, second properties, investment opportunities, right? Super cool, obviously having those conversations, but about 50% of the people that we talk to are actually retiring or thinking about retiring at Lake of the Ozarks, right? So they put in your time, right? You've, you've earned your money, you raised your families, you've been in your homes for 15 or 20 years, and now you're thinking about selling those properties, cashing out, and looking to relocate in the Ozark. So we wanna talk a little bit about what that looks like, give you food for thought, and put together some topics for you to think about. You know, I think one main topic to talk about is obviously just location. And if you're retiring and you're moving down to the Ozarks, where your property is in correlation to what's around you is going to be very important. There's something to be said about living you know a little bit further down the lake a little bit more remote but when it comes to going to the grocery store or the hardware store or retail stores or the doctors or the hospitals right it could be a little bit more of a drive than what you're used to right now and if you live in a metropolitan city and you can hop in your car and go 10 minutes down the road and you're at whatever you need to be at right that's one thing when you're in the Ozarks and you live down the waterways or off one of the fingers or you're separated from maybe the Camdenton area or Osage Beach, it might take you a lot longer to get there. And so food for thought, something to think about, right? Where are we going to retire and how convenient is that home to the amenities that we need? When we're thinking about your home, another topic to think about is the location of it right but ultimately the steepness of your property and what you'll realize if you haven't been here and you come down to visit is obviously the lake is uh, carved into this mountainous area and so it's a flooded river but all of the 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 properties around the lake are hillside type properties so if you come out to my home and you park up on top of the road and you have to walk down, it's a steep driveway, okay? So something to think about if we're retiring or in our later years, we gotta be careful about the steepness of our driveway. And my, my parents came out to visit this last uh, summer for the first time and God bless them, but my mom, right, she gets out of the car up top and she starts walking down the driveway. She almost trips, falls, stumbles down the driveway. She could have rolled right into the lake if we weren't paying attention. So not to make light of the situation, but it is something to think about. And if you're looking for that flat lot that's easy to get around and maneuver, those are kind of unicorn properties a little bit too. They're very desirable. And so if that's something that we need and that's something that we can find for you, but it is food for thought, right? Where is the property located around the amenities that we need? And then ultimately great location, but hey, that thing is so steep. If I walk outside and trip, I'm gonna roll in the lake. Can't have that happen. You know, so once you're down here, obviously one of the big popular things and why people are looking to cash out, relocate, is because they can live this outdoor lifestyle, right? And obviously you have everything lake life. So if you're retiring and you have a, a pontoon or a big boat or something that you wanna just explore water, uh, you like to cruise around to the lakeside restaurants and all the bars and, and bring your friends and your family, like super cool. Of course, everybody's down here because we love lake lifestyle, but there's a lot of off lake things that you can do, right? So making sure the property's in the right location, but a lot of times, if you are close to that maybe Osage Camdenton area, there are phenomenal state parks that you can go on your morning hikes or get on a bike ride or, you know, go and explore a little bit of nature and scenery. Uh, there's 
all your outdoor recreational activities. There's a huge golfing community down here. So if golf is a part of your world and you enjoy that, like getting up in the mornings, going to meeting your buddies or your golf partners, right? Getting in nine or 18 and then heading back home, like there's a huge golf course community. So you can stay active. And then when you're doing all of these things, you've retired, you enjoy the parks, you enjoy uh, golfing, you enjoy fishing, right, with your buddies, like whatever that outdoor lifestyle is, you're doing it with other people that are there for the same reasons, right? And so it's going to be easy for you to build community, find friends, build relationships, and do life with other people that are also in that retirement stage. Also, just going through that relocation process, we know, right, that you've made it, right? So you've You've worked hard your whole life. You've raised your families. Your kids are probably out of the house. Maybe you got grandbabies now. Super cool. Super jealous, right? Because I'm trying to make it to where you are. But now that you've made it, we also still have to be financially sound. So a lot of people we talk to, you know, aren't working anymore, right? So we're living off of our social security, maybe our pensions, annuities, uh, our investments that we've made over our time. And so we have to manage to that budget. So a big reason why people like to move down here is the cost of living and the affordability of it. And we have some folks here in, you know, in Colorado, uh, some neighbors of mine, and we have some out in Wisconsin and some in California that have been in their homes for 15 or 20 years. They're sitting on a bunch of equity and now they're able to sell that home cash out and buy a property down here in cash, right? So now you don't have a mortgage. Others might have a small mortgage. So if we are going to pull out a mortgage and finance part of the property, we just have to make sure that we get the best terms. We have to make sure that our affordability level is still there, right? We don't want to come down to the lake and have to use our retirement funds or our income purely for our mortgage, right? We want to be able to afford our mortgage, but we really want to be able to afford our lifestyle, right? We want to get out there and do things and enjoy the water and enjoy the hard work and the fruit of our labor up until this point. And so the cool part about being down here is it's very affordable. Okay. So that's what I'm getting at. If you're looking for a single family home and you're rolling equity from one property to another, cool. There's a lot of people that don't even want the single family home or the maintenance of the yard. So last topic is really just, you know, a condominium option. And, you know, a lot of folks are enjoying the condo option because you have lake life, you have probably a, a spot for your boat if you want, but you got a lot of amenities within that community as well, right? So the HOA fee is gonna cover all of the maintenance and typically the exterior of the property, the grounds, but there'll probably be tennis court or a clubhouse or a pool or all these things that you can enjoy now that you're retired, but you don't have to have the maintenance or the upkeep of a property. And so either way, good or bad, right? A lot of people talk about wanting their own space and single family homes. Others are like, look, and I'm done mowing yards. I'm done doing yard work. I just want to sit back, relax. And that's a great condo option too. So I love these conversations and I love communicating, talking with you folks about it because where you are in your life is where I'm trying to get to. So I'm always just genuinely curious about how you did it, right? So I love hearing the story, but then I'm also very mindful of how can we make this transition the best we possibly can. And location is always key. We got to be close or conveniently located to restaurants and grocery stores and hardware stores. And if we are in that retirement stage, then probably doctors and hospitals is just the nature of life. We got to be close. We got to be mindful of driving around. It's very hilly. It's curvy. We got to take that into consideration, especially with the steepness of your property. Okay. So the driveways, the backyards, all that stuff has to be conducive to your lifestyle to make sure that we're not going to get injured in any type of way. And when we are here, we're able to go out and enjoy retirement life, right? And hit the parks and go for walks and get on the bikes or, you know, play tennis, go join the golfing community and build relationships through there. If you enjoy fishing, get out on the waterways and go fishing or jump on your pontoon and cruise around the lake or just hang out on the dock and float. But you're here because you want an active outdoor lifestyle. And then the last component is you want it to be affordable. So, hey, let's make sure we're doing it the right way. We're cashing out of our properties of 
15 or 20 years, we're rolling equity into another property, hopefully paying it off free and clear. But if you have to do a mortgage, all good. We just want to make sure that we're managing to whatever type of income we have of social securities or pensions or you know, stocks or annuities or whatever we're doing. We have to make sure that that's an affordable lifestyle because we don't just want to retire to pay our mortgage. We want to retire to have some fun, right? And so love to have those conversations, right? Again, we are a relocation team. We're licensed lenders. We're licensed real estate agents. I love these videos, but I love more to have those conversations and help you with your relocation. So uh, the number popping up below, I am the guy that answers the phone calls, the text messages, and the emails. If there's a question, a scenario, or anything that we can do, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. And until then, we'll see you on the next video.